Hey guys, let's ride. Take a ride with our sweet home life with Mojo and Glenda. Come on, let's go. That's a big one, guys. I hope I can get it all in the uh, in the camera, in the lens, in the frame. This is an old engine from looks like Woodward Iron. 38. Not sure about that, so don't hold me to it. But yeah, Woodward Iron used to be in western part of Birmingham, and they had a big uh, iron processing company out there. Woodward Iron. And here's an old, uh, yeah, like a local engine, yard engine, I think is what you call those. That's cool, isn't it? Look at all those trucks on it. There's another engine. I don't know what kind it is. C and S Railroad. That's what it is. Look at those trucks on it, guys. Man, those things are haul a lot of a lot of weight. C and S Railroad. A big old engine. Got the caboose over here. Yep. Got a lot of stuff down here. The heart of Dixie. Let me try to zoom in on this sign that you can see it, guys. Heart of Dixie Railroad Museum in Clara, Alabama, south of Birmingham, about 30 miles. Safety first. Cincinnati Division. There's some trucks on that one. There's another caboose. What kind of caboose is that, Glenda? You ever ridden on a caboose? I haven't. That's very interesting. I've never done very much work on the railroad stuff as a machinist. We did do railroad bridges. We did a tremendous amount of railroad bridges. Let me see. I hope they don't get on to me for this. Look at there, that's inside the uh, caboose. There's some equipment over there. Look at the old passenger car, double-decker passenger car. That looks like that's from way back. Southern serves the south. That's probably Southern Railroad. There's one of the old engines, Heart of Dixie. Car. What does that say up there? Heart of Dixie. Heart of Dixie. Yeah, this place has been down here for a long time. They used to have a run, had a, a rail that they... Uh, ran from Birmingham to Montgomery, I think, on this. They'd have an excursion down there every once in a while. My bad, guys. I suggest it. But they had, uh, had an excursion that run from uh, this area on down to, to Ward, Montgomery. But it hasn't run in years. L and N. Camp car. You got to see this guy. This car was used in work uh, in work train service as mobile mobile housing. I'm, my bad for work train crews. This car was originally built in '21 as a box car. The car has Murphy corrugated steel ends and an interior height of seven foot eleven. Car 42476 was used frequently in service as a pile driving crew. Working on the railroads, guys. Look at Glenda over there. Smile, Glenda. There she is. Yeah, she wanted me to show you this. This is another one of those. These look abandoned. They're, they're abandoned. ABC, Glenda. All right. Yeah, we have an ABC, Alabama Byproducts Corporation. I used to know a guy at work there at ABC. But that's their little uh, yard yard uh, train, guys. I guarantee you that over there was abandoned before they rescued it. 
She thinks that was abandoned, guys, they before they rest. It probably it was. Uh, they needed love on it and needed somebody to take it in. Look at that engine on that thing. I wonder how many cylinders that has in it. Well, that's a big one. I drank a lot of fuel Sorry. with it. Uh, company, ASCO, I don't really. That's how all of those are train engines. Locomotives is what they call them in the, in the industry. Yard locomotives and that kind of stuff. Rayoli locomotives. Number 40, 40, 46. Yeah, big iron. I hear that train coming, rolling around the tracks. I ain't seen the sunshine, I ain't going back. Oh, we look at this, working bridge here. somebody in here. Check out this Louisville and Nashville baggage car, it says. My granddad worked for l and That's l and Railroad. And look at these cars. Strategic Air Command. Huh. Military guys. U.S. Air Force. U.S. Air Force. Huh. Here's some others over here. Here's some more, Ellen Ann. Check that out. That's a working railroad crane. There's all kinds of interesting things down here. If you're ever in the area, you'll have to come check it out in Calera, Alabama. Check out these old cars. There's some old ones. Part of Dixie Railroad.
Wonder how old these cars are. They look really old, don't they? All right, guys, we are looking at some Coke locomotives. These guys, uh, they pull the Coke, they worked in the Coke, Coke ovens. Uh, pulling the hot pots in and out, I suppose, because uh, we used to see them around uh, the U.S. Steel plant up there in uh, the uh, Inslee area. And they had these things, and they'd have a little train load of the Coke uh, slag coming out and dumping it over on the side of the track in a pit. So these things are tiny, but they're very... They're, they're kind of interesting. Look, look how small those things are. They're like, I don't know, 15 feet long. Just enough for a, a guy to get up in there and drive them. Very interesting. Empire Coke Ovens. Empire Coke Company. So there you go, guys. Can't get in them, of course, but it's interesting, isn't it? And this car here... Uh, was a post office car. I guess it carried mail. So could packages. I don't know if they had packages back then or not, but I'm sure they did. But, you know, I'm pretty old, but I don't remember. Birmingham Southern Railroad Company. Got Alabama Power. And we have some old pass passenger cars. Long Island. Look at the baggage carts. <laughs> 